and congratulations. First thing that I want to ask you, as a manager, how much of a buzz is it to name a lineup like that when you want to go out and play attacking football and you can name a lineup full of attacking talent like that? Yeah, look, it's kind of the way we've, we've tried to shape the squad and uh, you know, to give us that opportunity to you know, sort of be the, the dominant team we want to be uh, home and away. And um, yeah, it's great. We've got some great options in there. Guys can play a number of positions and uh, yeah, credit to the lads today. I thought they were outstanding from start to finish. We'll run through the goals. Let's start with Eves. <coughs> How crucial is that for him in terms of going out, repairing relationships, building bridges with, with you, the squad, the fans, to get a goal like that and, and get us off to a good start? Yeah, look, it's um, you know, it's it's part of the process. Um, it's not everything, you know. So he's still got a lot of work to do, but it's why we're giving him that opportunity and um, you know, impressing on him how important discipline is in his life. And I thought it was a disciplined performance from him today. Not just the goal he scored, the way he kind of you know played his role. It was an important role today. You know, they went direct, a fair bit, and he had to mop up things and you know kept the ball really simple. So. Um, yeah, you know, for Eves, it's you know we're trying to give him a platform to be who he can be. He's got to take that, and um, you know I thought he was um, yeah he was good today, and he just needs to continue. And Mickey Van der Ven, first half, we're all worried. He's bent his knee back. Second half, he runs 80 yards to to deliver an assist to Sonny. I mean, he's got everything, hasn't he? Yeah, no, Mickey's. <coughs> I mean, he's been outstanding. Um, I think with him, Kuti and, and and Destiny like. They're not really at peak fitness yet. Um, they missed all the pre-season. They got in late, and we kind of knew that. You saw that last week. They got fatigued after 60, 70 minutes. Um, but, you know, we saw it last year when they're up and running, and, and you know, those four with Vic are, are, are a pretty compelling unit in, in many different ways, and um, we just got to protect them. We've got to make sure that we, we, we kind of through the season um, you know, don't over, overload them in any aspect. And... Um, yeah, he, he, McGee was outstanding. It was, it was a brilliant run. There won't be many centre-halves around the world that can do what he just did and still have the composure to play a really good ball to Sonny. Um, and, um, yeah, more to come from him, no doubt. Four goals today, Ange, but what, what can you say about the overall defensive work of the team? Yeah, it was good. Really important for us. Um, you know, they, they're, they're always a threat from set pieces, long balls, and I thought we handled them really well today. We knew that was going to be a big part of what they did and um, you know, Vic didn't really have too many sort of worrying moments, so... It'll do them good to, to know we, you know, we kept a clean sheet against a, a difficult, awkward opponent. Um, and they also played a part in, in, in us sort of scoring goals as well. Um, you know, so, um, yeah, like I said, with, especially with the, the three of the lads, you know, they're still getting their way back to fitness. And, um, you know, hopefully we get it through to the international break with another game. And then the midweek game started, we can start rotating. We've got guys like Radu and, you know, Jed obviously came, came on tonight and, you know, Ben Davies and, and others who can... You know, sort of fill in the gaps for us. What did you see from Wilson in the week to give him a start straight away? Well, what you saw out there, I just, you know, he's just really exciting. I was excited by his, his kind of the way he went about things. He, he always wants to take his opponent on, you know, even if he hasn't been successful, he goes at him again. And, you know, it's a 19 year old playing for his new club in front of 60,000 people. And, you know, he just, he just played football the way he wants to play it. And uh, I love that about him. He got tired, obviously, in the second half, but, you know, Again, really exciting for us that another young player comes that is really going to make us a better team. We had a lot of games last season where we won late on. Is part of the evolution of this team that it'll be more games like today where you feel like the team is in control of the game and we go out and keep a clean sheet, for example? Yeah, look, it, it, the key to all that is performance. Yeah, you know, I mean, we, we were strong last week too. Yeah, performance was really strong. We just didn't you know, convert that dominance into, into points. But if you keep performing and keep dominating games, more often than not, you know, you'll win them and, and you know, whether it's comfortable or not, um, you're going to make it awfully difficult for the opposition to stop you. So, um, you yeah, know, we've still got a long way to go. We're still, we're still building as a team and um, that's the exciting bit for me. There's a lot of young players in here who I know have got so much more um, to give and our job is to give them that platform.